in this class we will discuss about reflection coefficient. Now we will try to understand the physical meaning of reflection coefficient by the end of that. So first we will try to derive the reflection coefficient and then we will try to understand what is the physical meaning of reflection coefficient. Now as we already know that the basic current equation in case of your transmission line or the voltage equation in case of transmission line. The voltage equation was given by Vx, t in the space and time was V plus e to the power minus gamma x plus V minus e to the power plus gamma x. Remember this is the average or nothing but the peak and RMS value. We are not talking about the instantaneous value, right? Now same way the current equation would be also given by the current equation in space and time is given by i plus e to the power minus gamma x plus i minus e to the power plus gamma x. So we have written the voltage and current equation in space and time. Now let us try to understand something. Let me draw the transmission line. There are two things in the transmission line. One is when you are moving towards the generator, another is moving towards the load. Now if you t, if I take this point and if I try to move this side, this is what is called as moving towards the generator. Generator is nothing but your source. If I stand at this point and try to move in this side which is nothing but towards the load, this is what is called as moving towards the load, right? Now what I want to do is. I want to find it out the I want to find it out see there is another thing I can find it out is the ratio or nothing but the relation between V and I. How I can find the relation between V and I? I already know the characteristic impedance equation right. So the characteristic impedance Z0 I also know that it is nothing but V plus by I plus right. I also know that Z0 is also equal to V minus by I minus right which is nothing but minus Z0, right? We have already seen this in the previous videos, right? Let us substitute this value over here and calculate the what would be the current in space and time. So the current would become So what would be I plus? I plus will be nothing but you see I plus will be nothing but if I take this side it will be V plus by Z0, right? If I take I plus this side it will become V plus by Z0. So it become V plus by Z0 e to the power minus gamma x. What my I minus will become? I minus will become V minus by minus Z0 right. So it become minus V minus by Z0 e to the power plus gamma x. The important point to note is you already know that this constitute two parts right. This is nothing but the forward travelling wave and this is nothing but your backward travelling wave. Same case is valid in case of current also this is a forward travelling wave, this is the backward travelling wave. So I find it out the current and voltage. Now what I want to find it out is I want to find it out the ratio of voltage. So let us see what I want to find it out. At x is equal to 0, what is the ratio of voltage by current? This is my purpose to find it out. Now can I say that voltage by current will be something called as impedance, right? So let us say that impedance is some z. So I want to find it out the voltage by current at x is equal to 0. Where my x is equal to 0 will be like? x is equal to 0 will be somewhere here. This is the point, right? x is equal to 0. Okay. Now what I can do is I can write the equation of V and I right because I already have V equation here right. So let us substitute that. Now if I substitute V equation here at x is equal to 0 what it will become x is equal to 0 is nothing but e to the power 0 this is again e to the power 0 so this will become V plus plus V minus right. So it become V plus 
प्लस वी माइनस एट एक्स इज इकल टू जीरो सो सब्सटीटिंग एक्स इज इकल टू जीरो वॉट माई आई बिकम्स आई वुड बी नथिंग बट अगेन e to the power zero will become one. e to the power zero become one. So it will be v plus minus v minus divided by z naught. So it would be v plus minus v minus, and the z naught will be there. So it would be z naught. Another interesting point to note is what I'm trying to find it out is the ratio of voltage by current at x is equal to zero. At x is equal to zero, ratio by voltage by current is impedance. Can I say that at x is equal to zero, which is this point, the impedance will be nothing but my ZL, right? If you stand here, what is the impedance you can see? It is ZL, right? So it is nothing but this Z. What we said is nothing but your ZL. Okay. So let's continue on this equation. So my ZL is equal to. I'm going to take V plus common. so this would become 1 plus v minus by v plus divided by again v plus common i'm going to take v plus again common so this would become 1 minus v minus by v plus and there will be a z not multiply now the interesting thing to note is i got some strange quantity which is v minus by v plus now what is this v minus by v plus let's understand this the voltage is traveling in the form of wave so it is going forward there is another voltage or you can just say on the same phase line the voltage is also traveling backward right now v minus is the amplitude of the wave which is traveling backward v plus is the amplitude of the wave which is traveling forward right so can i say that it is the ratio of the amplitude of the wave traveling backward to that of the amplitude of the wave which is traveling forward right and this is what is called as your reflection coefficient so the important thing to note is reflection coefficient is given by tau and this is nothing but the ratio of v minus by v plus okay so this would be nothing but your tau so let's substitute that so if i substitute this will become zl is equal to v plus v plus get cancelled it will be 1 plus tau by 1 minus tau z not right so this is what i got it and i know that what is tau tau is the ratio of v minus by v plus which is called as reflection coefficient this is what is called as reflection coefficient right i can simplify this thing right let's simplify this let me rub this on rearranging that equation which is nothing but zl is equal to 1 plus tau by 1 minus tau into z not what my tau would become tau would be nothing but zl minus z not by zl plus z not on rearranging this equation i'll get this and this is what is called as your reflection coefficient so we have able to find it out what is reflection coefficient in terms of your impedance where what is your zl zl is your load impedance z not is your characteristic impedance right your z not is a characteristic impedance zl is your load impedance so what we have concluded is your reflection coefficient is nothing but zl minus z not by zl plus z not same way you can also find the transmission coefficient right what would be the transmission coefficient which would be given by tau the transmission coefficient if you calculate you will find it out it is 2 zl by zl plus z not this will be your called as transmission coefficient now let me do a quick comparison between the transmission line and the plane wave here
what was the reflection coefficient in case of a plane wave if you remember the reflection coefficient in case of your plane wave was eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 2 plus eta 1 and transmission coefficient was 2 eta 2 by eta 2 plus eta 1. If you compare these two equations, it looks the same, right? This was the second medium, the, the impedance, the intrinsic impedance in the second medium minus the intrinsic impedance in the first medium by if you compare these two equations, can I say that these two equations have the similarity, right? Rather than having the intrinsic impedance, here we have a load impedance and the characteristic impedance, right? So now you can see that the reflection and transmission coefficients are almost same or the nature is same in case of your transmission line and in case of your plane waves, right? Now, if I want to understand what do you mean by a reflection coefficient? What is the physical meaning of a reflection coefficient, right? Initially, we said like we will derive this and we will try to understand that. Now, the physical meaning of reflection coefficient is, let us say that a wave is travelling forward. So, there is a wave travelling forward. Now, what will happen is, if the wave is travelling forward, it may happen that, the wave is travelling, it may happen that some part of the wave will reflect back, right? It is the same way in the plane wave, if you remember, if I tell you, if the wave is hitting the wall, let us say some wave is coming like this, it will hit the wall, what will happen is, some part of the wave will pass through it, okay? And some part of the wave will reflect back, right? So, in the same case, in this case of transmission line, if the wave is traveling forward, what will happen is, some of the wave will reflect back, some of them will not reflect back. Okay, the part of the wave which will get reflect back and you get this ratio is what is called as your reflection coefficient. If you do not want, the interesting thing to note that if ZL is equal to Z0, it means if I take ZL is equal to Z0, it means can I say that it will become ZL becomes Z0, so it becomes Z0 minus Z0, so it, can I say that in that case tau would be 0. It means, if your load impedance is equal to the characteristic impedance, then your reflection coefficient would be 0. What is that? Actually, what you have done is, intentionally, you have matched the load. It means, your load is being matched to this. And in this case, we know that when impedance are matched, nothing but maximum power would be transferred or all the power of the input will be transferred to the load. If all the power is transferred, it means nothing gonna reflect back, which is nothing but the proof here, right? If the impedance is being matched, none of the power will get reflect back and all the power from the source or the generator will be transferred to the load, right? We'll see how to solve a numerical using this in the next coming videos.